everyone welcome again to my new video so for this video i'm going with a back end approach i mean i need to create a website so i need a back end right so in my previous video i just uh, with uh, how we will convert a web page or web website template that we will we are downloading from internet so in this video i'm going from going to a back end approach how you run a java application java spring boot application uh, with uh, postgres sql on the back end database uh, very easily with the docker so you should have a docker insta installed on your system that is only a pre request for this one so here if i am going here uh, you can see that docker ps minus a so uh, we can make sure uh, docker is there right or otherwise we can use this com command also docker version so both will work docker version 20 10 0 or something like that so i have docker that's only for you first real cassette so then what else we need how we will start with the process that's the one so for a spring boot application to start there is a couple of easy ways right so if you are a community edition of IntelliJ idea it's better to go to spring initializer website so from there you can generate so here you can select all the necessary things so i am going with java 11 so that's the only thing that i am doing right now and you can change this one to your personal website uh, and artifacts also a sub directory like that maybe you can add a description package name whatever you need here is the thing so you need to add dependencies so i'm going for a rust uh, api so i need a spring web so web services you don't need only the web then uh, uh, the database said i need a jpa and another one dependencies like postgres sql so post plus sql and yeah the so we have three dependencies that's uh, for right now so i am going to generate this one and you you need to provide that uh, folder here and after that we can unzip this one and uh, export to your website so whenever you are exporting to your website uh, you will have everything except these two files these two files docker dependency so uh, what we will write on this docker dependencies that's another question right so if i click on this one docker dependencies you need to take your uh, website name like what you download there from the from the internet demo snapshot or something and you need to point here and please from your jdk version you need to mention that also you need to check whether this one is available or not and uh, the command you need to run and everything you need to hear, uh, you need to uh, mention here then the other file docker compose yaml this actually will do the rest of the things so i have the context context part is taken from this docker file so docker file i mention everything including the port so whenever I am going to docker compose, I will have something here uh, from where I need to take. So this is a docker file location. So I am on the same folder. So I am mentioning that one and Postgres SQL, uh, password, uh, everything you need to mention here, right? So then uh, what else you need to go to? Um, uh you need to go to here is like uh, you need to mention some of the things here that i guess uh, postgres uh, whatever it should be 
uh, yeah the services is the thing that we need to mention here so data grace is the service and data mobs gateway is another service data grace is for the postgres service and uh, you need to mention a uh, password and uh, username that's then then everything is fine right uh, and you need to uh, the gateway what is the gateway here and network also you need to mention then after everything mentioning so uh, just docker compose up will do the work first of the work so here i just have a web application and the next step is creating a controller at least you need a controller here then we can make sure some uh, uh, at least some data is returned right so i am what i am going to do is i need a package here so new package so controller then what i am going to do is java class data max controller then here i am going to add like press controller or something then what else i am going to do is here i need a endpoint right so get mapping just to get mapping is fine then uh, the path i need to mention here so uh, default is there so we don't need to change that also then probably put an a string then uh, get first app then return return hello okay so basically everything is done then uh, what else i am going to do here so everything is fine right i have a rest controller that's just a default one is so if you are just pointing your IP address here, local host or something like that. Everything works fine. The other one you need to change this one. The application dot properties where you will point the server dot port. And uh, other than that, you should have something like yeah the database URL. These things you will you can search in the internet. Same and there is uh, no changes so maybe you will get that code from somewhere else Other, otherwise i will post uh, somewhere on my next videos or something uh, to some blogs or github itself so this one this is actually my uh, network address not local address. so if you are going here uh, i have a service like data address right so I need to provide that instead of local host and the port also is from this one so that's all enough uh, for starting this one so I'm going to do something else right now so I have already run in docker containers so I need to remove them so docker system for minus a will do the first of the thing so I am deleting everything and next what I am going to do is I will run my docker compose uh, minus d so generate is up to d so docker ps minus a ok uh, 30 minutes so this one okay broker store need to stop everything after that only broker system clone command will work so here i am stopping this one no it's not stop broker stop okay that was broker store don't really work 
I specifically specify the container name so I am going to remove this one also actually I don't need to remove there is no changes for that right now I need to do docker system to mindset so it will delete then next command is very easy so it's saying like there is no network for this one that also deleted so here what i'm going to do is to create a network so here everything up and here uh, it will do the main works so just wait it will take a couple of minutes to run everything and during that time and we can go to the things that we did actually so docker compose uh, s1 so basically after downloading you need to create docker file that's the first step you need to mention what jdk version you are going for then the command working directory everything almost same and here you need to mention the version that's in your form.xml file right? 0, 0, 001 and also the artifact id you need to take from here then only it will work so i have generate so this application is like a data mox generator so basically what i am doing is generate some uh, random books or something like that uh, i will use some api from the internet so that's my uh, that's my focus right now and i am trying to start the build right now um, the application build so here also you can see the building is going on so it will take a couple of more minutes i guess but it is very easy and also it's very simple right in a 15 minutes or not 15 minutes 10 minutes you can run a spring boot application but no one can do that right now everyone can do i mean uh, in 2020 2015 or something you need to do everything manually and it was not much easy to run everything like today right so i have done seconds so i guess i don't have any issues here Maybe we can go to the Docker Logs to make sure everything works. Docker Logs, particular things, and you can see that starter web application in 9294. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I need to go to my particular port. So, localhost, localhost 9229 or something. 9220 okay something is uh, something is not working i guess so this is the uh, port number actually so since uh, if you are looking here docker dot ps minus a uh, my port 9220 pointing into 9220 data mouse so the other things actually 9220 i'm porting to 9220 here it, it is fine and i need to make sure here what is the port so as was 9220 and also here 9229 that's a over here so i need to change this again and the game build and then only we can make sure it's working so once again look at store this one look at store the other one Docker system pro 
माइनस ए सो वी किल एवरी इंक्लूडिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर नेटवर्क सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट दैट नेटवर्क फर्स्ट क्रिएट ओके इट्स डन देन वी नीड टू गो टू लोकल कंबोस अपनी ओके सो वी नीड टू come again with uh, everything okay? so it will take again some two minutes or something to build everything so i know it's almost 15 minutes and i don't have any post button for videos recording so uh, so everyone will lose their two minutes for running this application so uh, what else we can discuss on this time so i have the controller here i just mentioned here so what other things we need i need a service package right so i will add a service package here then i need a repo repo usually mention like repository or something like that repository to connect with my database and i uh, probably i will have some model classes to uh, define my database objects so there should be a model package so in this package i am going to create a class called um, actually what actually i need a book right so i'm just going to create a book here so book and it should be a entity so entity java export systems and i need to mention the table here table or something like that no name so book then okay so here everything is fine so uh, our build is successful and uh, yes minus k make sure everything running fine it looks like fine then i can i'm going to yeah yeah you can see that so everything is fine within 17 minutes okay thank you for watching have a nice day